Welcome to today's notes over inequality word problems, which means it's difficult for a lot of students because it's problems that involve words. So let's go over some key words that you will associate each of these inequality symbols with. So this first one right here, greater than, more than, larger than, and above, when you see those, you need to be thinking about this greater than symbol. When you see this greater than or equal to symbol, words that obviously you would associate that would be greater than or equal to, no less than, at least, and minimum. When you look at this next inequality symbol to the right, moving to the right, this is obviously your less than symbol. So when you see less than, you should, this is the inequality symbol you should think of. Smaller than, fewer than, and below. And then our last inequality symbol, less than or equal to, no more than, at most, and maximum. So let's look at this first problem, and I'm going to show you how I go about this. Now, I remember when I solved inequality word problems when I was younger, I got really confused with what inequality symbol I would use, and I would use an equal sign in my problem, and then I'd kind of figure it out at the end. But I'm actually going to show you how to do it the right way. So, number one, the local car rental company charges a $7 flat fee to rent a car plus $125 per mile driven per mile that's a rate and then per mile that means that right there is what x would equal if it's a rate this is the number that goes in front of the variable 125 per mile so 125 times x x rep would represent the number of miles but let's keep going Catherine can spend no more than $40 on her car rental for the day. What is the maximum amount of miles Catherine can drive without going over her budget? So first, let's write what our variable is going to represent. X is going to represent the number of miles. And now I'm going to write my inequality. So first, to what, what is the car rental company charge? First, they're going to charge a $7 flat fee plus a dollar twenty-five per mile. That's your rate. That's the number that goes in front of the X. The X would represent the number of miles. And what amount does Catherine have? She can't spend any more than forty dollars. So I'm going to put that over here. And now I'm going to label this. I'm going to label each side. Right here, this would represent the amount that Catherine is spending. This over here represents her budget. This is how much she has to spend. She can't spend any more than $40, no more than $40. So what she's spending needs to be less than or equal to $40. So it really helps to label whenever you're doing an inequality like this. What, what's on the left side of your inequality? What's on the right side? What does it represent in the problem that you're looking at? And now let's solve it. The first thing I'm gonna do is subtract seven. And I do that because remember, my ultimate goal is to get X all by itself. 40 minus seven is 33. And then at this point, I'm going to divide by 125 and I get X is less than or equal to 26.4. X can be anything less than or equal to 26.4 miles. Now, because you're charged per mile when you're getting a rental car, we're gonna have to round down in this case. So let's write our therefore statement because we're writing a word problem and we can't just leave our answer like this. Our answer means something. So therefore, Catherine, can drive a maximum of how many miles? Not 26.4, because your car rental company isn't going to charge you for four tenths of a mile. So a maximum of 26 miles, and you could leave it like that if you want. I'm going to keep going without going over budget. 
Okay, let's move on to number two. I'm going to change colors here. Okay, number two. The Wall Street Journal charges a fee of $245 plus $75 per week. There's your rate, right? Which means your variable is going to represent the number of weeks to run a local ad. The Washington Post charges a fee of $95 plus $125 per week to run a local ad. For how many weeks will the total cost to run an ad with Washington Post be less than or equal to the Wall Street Journal? Okay, so the first thing I want to do is label our variable. And I already said since the $75 per week, that's our rate, that $75 per week, which means our that's the number that goes in front of the X, right? It's going to be 75 X, which means X will represent the number of weeks. Okay. So now in this type of problem, there's a little more that's involved than in number one. So in on one side of my inequality, I'm going to put all of the information for the Wall Street Journal. So the Wall Street Journal charges a fee of $245 plus $75 per week and this represents the Wall Street Journal. That's on one side. Now I need on my other side of my inequality sign or symbol, I need an expression that represents the Washington Post. Well, the Washington Post charges $95 plus $125 per week and this represents the Washington Post. So the question says, for how many weeks will the total cost to run an ad with the Washington Post be less than or equal to the Washington Post less than or equal to, right? So this over here needs to be smaller than the Wall Street Journal. So there's what my inequality is going to look like. And now let's solve. I'm going to draw a line down my inequality and I'm going to get my variables on one side. So I'm going to do that by subtracting 125x from both sides. I'm kind of going backwards, but that's what I get. 245 minus 50x is greater than or equal to 95. And then I'm going to subtract 245 from both sides. And I get negative 50x is greater than or equal to negative 150. And at this point, I need to divide both sides by negative 50. When I divide by a negative, what do I do to my sign? I flip it and I get positive 3. And again, because this is a word problem, I can't leave my answer like this. So now, because we've labeled what x equals, it's the number of weeks. I know the number of weeks can be less than or equal to 3. Well, what are we talking about here? We're talking about when the Washington Post will be less expensive or the same. So I'm going to write my therefore statement to be the Washington Post. And you don't have to write huge sentences like this. You can just get the gist out, try to make it a complete sentence. The Washington Post will be less expensive or the same when running an ad for three weeks or less. And that's your solution. And that concludes your notes over inequality word problems. I hope it was helpful.